Hello, everyone. I wanted to take a few minutes and talk you through the ClickFunnels affiliate dashboard. Um, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say that it's very confusing, and I kind of thought back and realized it is very confusing. I just have been in it so much lately that I, I don't find it confusing anymore. So I'm going to show you. Um, this is not my affiliate dashboard. This is um, a relative's that I'm using right now, and I'm going to kind of show you uh, the affiliate dashboard and how it all works and how to get your links and how to do things properly in there. Okay, so if you have a ClickFunnels account, which if you're an affiliate, I would highly recommend that you do. Um, you'll go to account and affiliates and it'll pull up. If not, you need to Google um, dream car contest, click funnels, and then it'll take you to a page where you can log into your, uh, your account. Okay. So um, <clears throat> we're looking at it right here. This is what you get when you get to your affiliate area. Okay. It's going to give you a report right here. It's going to give you a daily amount of, of money that you're making every single day. Um, it's going to give you lifetime earnings. It's going to give you pending. Okay. And this is important. Pending means this is money that still hasn't been paid to you, but it, will be paid as long as people don't refund. And so pending typically, <clears throat> when money's in pending, it typically sits there for about 35, 40 days. And this is because people can refund, right, with ClickFunnels. And if they're gonna refund with ClickFunnels, then ClickFunnels obviously can't pay you for that. And so um, very important, you understand that money's in pending typically 30 to 35 days, okay? Um, ready for payout today is, if today was Monday, this is how much you would be paid ready for payout next Monday is is basically <laughs> this is very confusing the way they do this but basically every Monday they pay you okay so this is how much they're expecting to pay you right now with this account it's brand new they're expecting to pay negative $38 but there would be a, an amount here you usually this is how much they expect to pay you next Monday assuming there's no more refunds okay it's assuming none of these people have refunds this is the amount that's already locked in these are this is the amount that you will make on Monday okay now it's important to note that these um, you will not combine these two numbers, okay? This number is the total amount you're expected to make on Monday. This is the amount coming out of that that you're already guaranteed to get, okay? So this is the amount right here that you should expect to make the following Monday, assuming there's no refunds. And this is how much is already past the refund period, basically. Okay, and then this is kind of like the percentage of that that's in holding past Monday, okay? And then the addition of all these should add up to pending, which as you can see, it does. Okay, rest is pretty easy today so far, last seven days, last 30 days, um, just kind of some general numbers for your report. Okay, um, this is very important. You can select date ranges, okay? So the default is seven days. You can get in there and, and see, oh, how much did I make today? How much did I make seven days ago? How much did I make 30, you know, in the last 30 days? And it'll, it'll change all the numbers in here to match this criteria right here, okay? Um, and I wouldn't worry too much about these two things. Then you'll just select filter and you'll be able to filter out and see different things. Okay, so what it's very important and most people don't know is when you select your breakdown by day, so let's go last seven days, you can actually download a report that gives you all the information you need, okay? Commission details right here will give you a report of everything that's happened in the last seven days. But I wouldn't use that one because it's actually just the stuff that's happening within the ClickFunnels area, not in the expert secrets and the dot-com secrets and the other places that the sticky, sticky cookie applies. So you'll want to go all the way down here and click download. And this will give you a report of the, uh, the last seven days, everything that's happened, okay? It'll give you a report of all the refunds and all the every ClickFunnels product that anybody has used your link to purchase. Um, you'll get the full report right here. So you'll want to download that. It'll do something like this, and then it'll load, and you'll get the CSV file. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, now, you gotta remember ClickFunnels has tons of products. Okay, they have dot-com secrets, expert secrets, ClickFunnels, um, funnel hacks, all kinds of products, and each one of these products has a funnel that's associated with it, right? Because that's what ClickFunnels does. And so that's why this is very confusing is um, you're basically sending people to funnels, not to products, okay? Okay, so right here, dot-com secrets, 108 split test. That's a free book and a funnel. So if you want to get a, a link to that book or that funnel, you'll click here. If you want a link to just dot-com secrets, that funnel, click here. Expert secrets, free book, that funnel. Funnel graffiti, okay? So you see how all these are different funnels that ClickFunnels runs, and you can get your links to those in there. So let's explore one of these. Marketing in your car, that's a good one. Let's explore these. By the way, if you are a ClickFunnels affiliate, you should be promoting every one of these, okay? So as soon as you get someone's email address that signs up for ClickFunnels or for .com Secrets or for um, Expert Secrets or whatever it is, you should immediately be remar remarketing other items to that person, okay? Hey, I see you got .com Secrets. Guess what? That book's part of a set. You should get Expert Secrets because I promise you, you'll learn a lot more by reading both, okay? So that's just a little hint. 
anyway, let's hop in here. This first one is basically your ClickFunnels links, okay? So to the actual product, ClickFunnels. Let's click it, and it's going to open um, the affiliate center for this particular product or funnel. Okay. Right here is where you're at on the dream car promotion. Right here is which product. So most of them just have one product, but ClickFunnels, um, <clears throat> the actual ClickFunnels page has a few. You can promote a 14-day trial. You can promote a Funnel Hacks webinar. And what a Funnel Hacks webinar is, is Funnel Hacks is basically someone that buys six months worth of ClickFunnels up front, and they get a ton of cool stuff, and you should definitely do that. Um, and so you can promote that. They, they teach it in a webinar. Or you can promote Russell Brunson giving away a funnel. Okay, he gives away a funnel. And you need people need to sign up for ClickFunnels to get that funnel. So you can promote that, and your affiliate link will be attached to it. Okay, now here's how you get your links. Well, first let me click one. In all the funnels, you're going to see something that looks like this, okay? Ding, 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 ding. It's going to give you a default link. This is just like the basic link. If you wanted to send someone to that link, there it is. You can see your affiliate IDs right here. But you typically... Well, I guess in ClickFunnels, you want to choose a link. They have a short and a long page. So you might have to do this, choose a link. Typically, you'll want to put in sub IDs, okay? And this way, when someone purchases through your link, you can identify which link they clicked, okay? Let's say I'm, I'm putting my link in a Facebook ad and a Google ad and an email and a YouTube video and uh, all these different things, right? I want to know, well, when this person that signed up for ClickFunnels, where did they come from, right? Because then I want to know, I got to do more like that. So you would say something like YouTube in your sub ID, and then you would say something like um, which YouTube video, click funnels versus lead pages, right? Boom. Okay. And now it's going to give you a new link down below. Okay. And if you look, scroll over here, you can see it's added sub IDs to this. And now when you go download your report that I was showing you earlier, it's going to identify the sub IDs and how they've done. Okay. So very, very important. It also gives you a lot of like banner ads you can use. You can put these in your sites and things like that. Um, I don't use a lot of this. It'll also write emails for you. I do use that occasionally. Um, and that's that, okay? So you have that same affiliate area for every product. So let's say I want to do Expert Secrets. I open the affiliate area here. It's going to have just a bunch of stuff. Hey, look, that's me right here. Ding, 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 Buildapreneur. And uh, it's going to give you your link right there, right? Choose a link. You can send to like other pages if you want, or different opt-in pages, and then you'll choose a sub ID. You'll choose a sub ID too. It'll give you a new link, and you're good to go. Okay. So that's the ClickFunnels affiliate area. Um, the last thing is these are called referred affiliates at the bottom here. Um, and what these are, these are people that are affiliates of ClickFunnels that you would get a second tier commission of five percent if they make any sales, okay? So there's a variety of ways this can work, okay? So someone can sign up, can go to sign up for ClickFunnels, they put in their email address and their uh, name, and then when it takes them to the credit card page, they, they back off, okay? They leave. Well, guess what? Their affiliate account's already been created, so they're now a referred affiliate of yours, but they don't have a ClickFunnels account. That's one way. Or they can sign up for a ClickFunnels account, and then they'll show up on here. That's the second way. Or they can actually sign up just to be an affiliate of ClickFunnels through a specific link of yours. That would be, you would get that through, I don't even know where you get that link, honestly. Um, I think that's in the main ClickFunnels trial. You can get, in the main ClickFunnels one, you can get a link just for people to sign up just as affiliates, not actual ClickFunnels users. I would never promote that, but you can. So these are people that have done all that stuff, right? And it's going to give you um, all their email addresses and stuff. One last tip. Every time you get an email address, you should be reaching out to these people, okay? You can download that commission details, and it'll give you an email address, and you should be reaching out saying, what are you trying to use ClickFunnels for? How can I help you, okay? Hint number two, you're going to have to know how to use ClickFunnels yourself. You're going to have to be very good at ClickFunnels and uh, be able to answer questions that they have, or you're going to look really dumb. So learn ClickFunnels, then you can promote it a lot better. So that's the ClickFunnels affiliate dashboard. Thanks so much, guys.